Did you see this tweet from Fixing Education this morning? Maybe us teachers need the UAW as our union. Are teachers making enough money? We, we don't, don't think, think so. so. Quick question to you guys. What is the livable wage in the state that you're living in? And what is the starting salary for a teacher? I'm gonna kinda go on a limb and say they don't line up too well. I'm gonna go on a limb and say they definitely don't line up too well. I was reading an article in East Idaho News about the amount of money a single person needs to make in Idaho. And let's face it, Idaho, we're not exactly one of the costliest places to live. No, it's pretty affordable. We did our research on this, and the East Idaho News just published an article stating that the average person needs to make about $58,600 a year in order to live a nice life in Idaho. Pay for the basics, have a nice place to live, eat, and live a good life. Guess what the average starting salary is for a teacher in Idaho? Way more than that. Way less than that. <laughs> about $40,000 a year. And that's a gulf of $18,000. What is going on in each one of these states? Teachers, undervalued. Very undervalued. That gap between what teachers are earning and what is a livable wage, well, that's why teachers aren't staying in the profession and why teaching can't get new people into the profession. We are losing so many teachers. In fact, John and I aren't in the classroom because we're looking for a better opportunity outside the classroom. Just 20 years ago, one in five degrees issued by colleges went to educators, teachers, and other people going into the teaching field. Today, it is far, far less than that. And John is absolutely right. We're asking people to go to college for four years, after the four years to do additional training that you have to do basically for free. It's called teacher in-service training where you learn how to be a teacher at a school. And they ask you to do this for free or for a very, very small wage. And then after all of that, the four years, the graduation, the teacher training, you get your first job and you find out you're making far, far less than similarly situated professionals. One of the goals of 3&B is for John and I to help teachers live a better life. And we can't deny the fact that teachers are being paid a whole lot less. We're gonna be talking about this topic more in the future because this is an important topic to bring to light. Teachers need some help. We need to get this conversation going and clearly we're not meeting our teachers' needs. I think there's a lot of conversations happening around this and it needs to happen more quickly than it is. And in fact, there are a number of articles like this one that states we actually as teachers, we get penalized because we became teachers because the pay is so low and because of inflation being so high, we don't keep up. And this tweet from Fixing Education has a great point. Why is the UAW asking for a 40% raise and we're only asking for two and actually being happy we're, with we're it? We're stoked about 2%. Yeah, we're stoked. <laughs> and if you think about it, 2% equals like $50 a month, maybe $70 a month. Yes. It's almost nothing. It's a negligible amount of money. The reality of it is, our entire nation needs educated people to continue. And without teachers, you don't have an educated nation. We want to be known that we are here for the sake of teachers, students, and admin. That's something I kind of wanted to clear up, that admin is all for teachers getting raises. This battle that we're going to be fighting, it's at a state and at a federal level. Absolutely. I have never met an administrator who didn't want to see his or her teachers be paid more. We need to be paid a living wage that corresponds to actually where we live. And in this article, it actually states that a lot of teachers can't even afford a home within driving distance of the schools they live in. And that's a real, real problem when you can't find teachers who live in your town. It wasn't even that long ago that we were deemed essential. Do you remember that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and they called us essential. They called us heroes. And yet we make far less than any but other profession out there. Teachers need a raise that reflects the reality of where they live and how much they get paid they should be able to at least make the minimum level to live a good life as a single person. And we aren't even talking about the possibility of having a family, which makes it even more difficult to be a teacher. Let's make sure to keep up this conversation. It's important that we start getting it rolling and stealing some change. So once again, if you wouldn't mind, find out what livable wages for the state that you're in and the starting salary for a teacher. Share that with us. We're gonna use that for a future video. So we need to make that change happen and we need to make that change happen now. UAW, hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, take care of the three and be your very best self.